Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Phil Switch. I'm Phil Carute, and I'm joined by my fearless co-host, Brock Tamarino. The Phil Switch podcast is brought to you by Sal's Tire Caps. Sal's Tire Caps. Don't let faulty tire caps ruin your marriage. By Sal's Tire Caps. Brock, another week, and we have another <clears throat> in-studio guest today. Uh, gentleman's name we are with today is Josiah. He is a word association analyst. Uh, once again, referred to the show from our producer. So, um, Josiah, tell us a little bit about what you do and uh, what you'll be doing on the Phil Switch today. Hi, guys. My name is Josiah, and I am a word association analyst, which basically means um, what I do for my clients, or you and Brock today, is I will give you guys a word. You will give me another word or short phrase back uh, regarding what you associate or what your thoughts are when I say that word, and then I will analyze your uh, response to me. Okay, um... So if when you give us a word, we give you a word or a short phrase back, you analyze it. What what is uh, what is that analysis? Um, what does that analysis indicate, Josiah? Well, that analysis indicates uh, basically where your mind is at, uh, maybe what kind of person you are, what you're thinking, how you view uh, your life, your relationships, the world, things like this. This is what uh, word association. Uh, analyzing is all about, or analysis, I'm sorry, is all about. It's what it's all about. So how accurate do you think those, <clears throat> how accurate do you think the science or practice of uh, word association analysis, um, how, how accurate do you think that is? Oh, that's, it's very, very accurate. Yes, I've had, I mean, I don't know how many clients I've had. I've completely turned their lives around upside down every way you can imagine. And it's very accurate. Um, I use a host of words. I'll use some with you and Brock today. I know we're on a limited time. So usually this type of session with a client would last two hours, maybe, uh, could be longer. If it's longer, I typically like to just leave it at two hours and then schedule another session. If there's more words, I feel like we need to get to. Uh, so do you have like a set, um, list of words that you use or how does that, how does that work? Uh, actually, yes, I do. I kind of have a set list of words, but I also just kind of improv. I just kind of feel it. I go with the flow. Um, I kind of see where the conversation is taking us, where my client's at, what his or her needs are. And I just kind of go from there. So in this um, word association analysis practices, um, like how do, how do you know what word to go to next or, well, I mean, that's the whole thing. That's what I just explained. I just kind of feel it. I feel it out. So, you know, I might, I might start by saying dog. Okay. And the client, and that's actually, I'm not going to use that word because that would spoil the results with you guys. Cause you guys have more time to think about what I'm talking. Um, but the client would think about that word. They would say, and briefly, briefly think about it. They don't take a long time to think about it. I'm asking for like a couple seconds and then they give me a word back or a short phrase. Um, I analyze their response to that. And then I let them know what I think about that response. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, well, Brock, are you ready? Yeah, sure. Let's, uh, let's start. Okay. So what's going to be easiest is I will say the word. Um, let's start with Brock. I will say a word to Brock. Brock will take just a very few moments. I'm talking about, you know, two to two to five seconds, five seconds being the top. And then he will say a word back to me or a short phrase of what he thought of, and I will analyze that. Okay, well, uh, I'm ready. All right, so Brock, the first word is bicycle. Uh, uh, travel. Okay, so Brock, I said bicycle, you said travel. I feel like... You're full of adventure. You're full of life. You're full of excitement. Um, you're just you're looking for the next thing, but you're not anxious about it. You're you're willing to take risks. You're willing to try stuff. 
Oh, and and then do I respond or is that is just a evaluation like yeah, it's just an evaluation. Okay. Okay, so Phil, I'm going to do the same word for you, bicycle. Uh right around. Okay, so right around. Um I feel like you have a lot of challenges in your life like you're never really sure what's going on um you're just kind of floundering you've thought maybe maybe this but maybe that but maybe neither um geez you just a lot of confusion in your life you're just kind of you're just kind of grasping at straws Riding around is like is very similar to travel. Well, I, I I just I'm just trying to tell you what I'm analyzing, what I'm hearing. Okay, um, can I go first this time? I would rather just stay in order. So let's just start with Brock. Okay, uh, I'm uh, I'm ready again. Okay, so Brock, calculator. Um, uh, numbers. Oh, numbers. This is nice. So numbers, you're seeing things for what they are. You're very intuitive. You have this almost unbelievable grasp on reality and where things are and how the future is going to be and what your life holds. Now, Phil, um, same thing, calculator. Um, math. Oh, geez. Um, so you're calculating, but like not in a good way. Um, you've always struggled with academics. You're not a very bright, you well, you don't perceive yourself to be a bright person. And sometimes other people don't either. Um, hmm, math. You've always wished you could have just stayed in school. Like you never wanted to leave and not even like high school or middle school, like elementary school, because things were easy and attainable. And now things are more complicated. Like you went from algebra to like calculus, but there was nothing in between. Well, I, I, I don't, I don't know that I feel that way about things. I'm just analyzing. I'm just analyzing what you're telling me. That's all I'm doing. Okay. So Brock, the next word. Um, flower. Uh, uh, allergies. Oh, allergies. Yes. Yeah. So you're taking a very holistic approach to this, Brock. Uh, when I say flower, you're saying allergies. So you're thinking of so many different variables. You're thinking of uh, the pollen within the flower. You're thinking of maybe sometimes there's a beauty to flowers, but there's also... There's also this, this feeling of, of danger, but you're also not letting that cloud your judgment. You're not letting that cloud your true feelings for flowers, which they can still be quite lovely. Okay, so Phil, uh, the word for you, flowers. Uh, not, nice smells. Oh, nice. See, if you would have said aromas, it would have been so different. Uh, I'm just getting like that you, you walk into a room, right, Phil? And the first thing you think of is who, who decided on the design of this room? <clears throat> the first thing you think to yourself is, geez, I wish I wasn't here. Um, man, smells, nice smells. A very, a very, you have you bring a very sarcastic vibe to the room, uh, a very cynical vibe. That that was that was like a that was like a good thing about that was a good thing I said about flowers though. Like uh, uh, Brock said, allergies. I, I'm just I'm just telling you I'm just telling you what I'm hearing from your responses. Okay, so so, so um, okay, let's try this. Phil, you start. We'll start with you for. Let's just do a couple more. Uh, yeah, let's just do a couple more because uh, we are going to wrap this up here pretty soon. So yeah, a couple more. Uh, Phil goes first. Okay. Okay, so Phil, um, 
bottle. Um, <clears throat> uh, good memories. Good memories. So, do you drink, Phil? No, I, I, it, like it was good memories because uh, when I was younger, we used to recycle the bottles and we'd take them to the store and we got like change back. Um, and that, I always thought that was fun when I was a kid. Oh, geez, I shouldn't have asked you a follow-up question. It was looking really good before I asked you a follow-up question. Now I'm seeing like a lot of greed. Um, oh, gosh. Just like a dismal view. Like, oh, my gosh, I just, I need more money. I want to... You know, I, I think, gosh, an, an inclination even to maybe commit a crime to get more, more wealth that I, I would never do that. I'm just, I'm just telling you what I'm, I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. Uh, Brock bottle, um, uh, broken glass. Okay. This is, this is very interesting. So Broken glass, you're seeing fragments. You're seeing a hole, but you're seeing fragments of, like, you're really able to break things down. You're able to see, like, this, is like, so, Brock, this is such a beautiful thing. Like, you would see a car, okay? And and most people would just see, oh, it's a car. But, Brock, you would see, like, oh, look how nice the tires are. Look how, look how well the car's maintained. Look at the, look at the uh, chassis. Look at the grill. Look at all these beautiful parts that brought this car together. That's, that's really what I see when you say broken glass, when I say bottle, um, Brock. That is, just, that is just really great. So how many, how many more words are we doing? Uh, let, let's just do one. We'll just do one word. Don't, don't be, you know, Phil, don't get upset. This is just, this is just word association analysis. Um, I've been doing this for a long time. So, I mean, it, it just is what it is. You can decide if you want to improve on yourself, um, or like Brock, you know, just kind of maintain. Okay. What's, what's, what's the next word? Okay. So the next and last word, um, Let's see. I'm trying to think of a real doozy stuff that's really, really kind of brought my clients back into the fold. Um, shoe. The word is shoe, Phil. Oh, um, uh, perfectly comfortable. Oh, geez. So perfectly comfortable. <sighs> I think when you think that when you're when I say shoes to you, it kind of gives this feeling that like you're satisfied, like you don't really care to try any harder, like, you, you know, like, uh, well, these are perfectly comfortable. There's, you know, I don't need to try any harder. I guess I'll just settle with this. I'll just live like this, this boring drab life because I have perfectly comfortable shoes it just just shows a real lack of motivation, you know, a, a lack of get to it. Brock, um, shoes. Um, um, uh, uh, laces. Oh, jeez. Yes, the laces that bring everything together. Without laces and a pair of shoes, what are they? They're sandals, they're slip-ons. You put laces into them and it it completes it. It makes it whole. It makes it it makes it more than it was. It makes it comfortable. It makes it almost perfectly comfortable for your foot once you have the laces on. It Brock, it's, you know, it's been such a pleasure coming to the fill switch, when I talked to your producer, he said, just, just do your thing, just do your job. And I, I was a little bit reluctant. I'll be honest with you guys. I was a little bit reluctant because I've just, I'm not used to being on podcast type things. And I thought, well, I'll just try it. What the heck? Uh, because actually I, when I said the word podcast to myself, I thought joy. Um, and, so, you know, and that's self-explanatory. You don't have to be a word association analyst to get that. Um, but anyway, Brock, I just, you know, I had my doubts of coming on the show because I didn't know how it would be trying this on a podcast. But just your beautiful, 
association with the words that I gave you, Brock, it's just made it a very, you know, so delightful. And and I want to say rewarding, but it's, it, it, it wouldn't be that part of it that's rewarding because you're just such a, you're such a delight. It's like a bright light. You're like an angel. When I say Brock, I think of angel. Now, where it's been kind of rewarding is with Phil's responses, uh, because this is where me as a word association analyst um, really gets to help people and show people, hey, here's what you have to work on. Here are things you can think about. Here are ways you can improve yourself. And to be honest, Phil, and I don't want you to take this as an insult, but there's a lot of things you can improve on. And it really makes me feel good to know that I was able to help you on that journey, even though it was a small journey today. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I, I feel, uh, great that, um, there's uh, personal growth now that I can look into and, uh, 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 anyway, uh, Josiah, thank you, uh, for coming on the Phil switch and, uh, maybe we can have you back, uh, uh, some other time to maybe, uh, would you be willing to, uh, take callers next time, uh, you come on and, and do some, uh, word association analysis with them? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I, this has really opened my eyes, especially, especially if I came back on the Phil switch and you're here, Brock, I would definitely come back take callers and, and help you guys in any way I can help your callers in any way I can. Absolutely. It would be a joy. Um, your producer obviously knows how to contact me. So anytime he wants to set that up, um, with the exception of, uh, let's see the next, uh, all of next month, I'm not going to be available. Uh, but then maybe after that sometime would be great. Okay. That sounds great. Um, Josiah, thank you very much. And, uh, uh, Phil, you want to take us out? Um, uh, yeah, uh, you know what, Brock? Why don't why don't you go ahead and take us out? Oh, uh, you know, Phil. I think maybe you should because you know you're trying to work on stuff, and I don't think uh, just take us out, Brock. Okay. Um. So, um, as always, guys. Uh, thanks for listening to the Phil Switch. Uh, if you want to catch uh, Phil on his other podcast that he does with uh, uh, Cap over at Kaplowitz Media, you can do that. The uh, name of the podcast there is. Uh, uh, the 1st and 15th. Um, if you guys want to get a hold of us, you can do so through email. It's uh, thephilswitch at gmail.com. Again, that's thephilswitch at gmail.com. Uh, uh, thank you all for listening. Uh, we wish you all a great week, and uh, we'll talk to you soon uh, here at The Phil Switch.